Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, today we're going to be making this ash blonde wig. So let's just hop right into this video. So for this video, you're obviously you're going to need your blonde 613 wig. Now I only have two here because I'm making these for other people. So I'm just going to knock both of those out right now. Obviously, I'm only going to show one in this video. Um, you're also going to need um, 20 volume developer. You're going to need wella color charm um toner and t27 you guys this is not the hair color this is toner okay t27 um you're also gonna need revlon um in 51 which is light brown and you're gonna need a pair of gloves obviously and you're gonna need clips and a brush and a bowl now um you can also use this to mix your toner and your um, developer in. So for starters, we're gonna take our 613 wig and we are going to pin it down on our mannequin with some T-pins. And I use several T-pins to pin this unit down. And excuse my mannequin, that's my ride or die, that's my boo. We done been through everything together, y'all. That's why it's all beat up. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pin these down to secure the wig so that it doesn't move as we're applying our color. Okay, so now we're going to take that Revlon in light brown and we are going to mix that together, the contents from that box. And once it gets the right consistency, you guys, we are going to go ahead and we are going to apply that on that lace. Um, on the very front part, we're going to start off. But you guys, before that, please do not forget to put on your gloves and grab you some clips so that you can clip the hair out of the way as you go. So now we are just going to take this clip or you can use a comb or you can use your application brush. It doesn't really matter but we're going to part the hair and then we're going to apply just a tad bit of that color and we're probably only going to go I would say about um, no more than an inch up on the hair in probably even three quarters of an inch we just want it to look like um, the hair color is growing out we don't want it to look like an ombre or anything like that so we're going to part it and we're going to apply just a little bit of color Okay, so now that we are finished with the entire front hairline and we're done sectioning through the entire front um, of the hair and you guys, it's super important to make small parts when you're sectioning through the front of the hair because you want to make sure that you can part this unit anywhere and that it will have this brown um, hair color. So make sure that you're making small enough parts that you can get all of the roots in the front of the wig. But this part that I'm doing right here is super important, you guys, because if you don't color the back part of um, the wig where um, the roots are, then it's going to look really crazy when you comb it or when the wind blows. It's just going to be straight 613 here. So you want to make sure that you get the back too. Now, the back doesn't have to be as perfect as the front, but you still want to make sure that you get it pretty good. Thank you. 
Now this part right here is completely optional, but I honestly feel like this is really what makes the wig so bomb, you guys. I'm going to take a couple random pieces and I'm also going to do balayage on some pieces, which you don't have to do all that, you guys. You can just completely bypass this part if you want to, but I'm going to add that um, light brown hair to several random pieces throughout the front of this wig and I'm doing that because it's going to add some depth and some dimension and it's going to kind of give us like a low light effect within our ash blonde wig so again this is completely optional but I kind of feel like this is really what makes the wig and also when you start to apply that light brown color it's going to come out and it's going to look so dark you guys do not freak out that is not going to be how dark the hair color is once you shampoo it out of your wig okay so right here i'm just going in with that um t27 i just put it in the applicator bottle and i mixed it with that 20 volume developer always read the directions on your um on your products so um wella requires two parts of developer to every one bottle so put that in that bottle we're going to mix it up and we're going to apply it all over the entire wig where there's just strictly 613 here you don't want to add it to the roots of the hair where the light brown is even though toner doesn't really change the color per se it just tones it so we're just going to add that all over the 613 here A few moments later. Okay, so now that our wig is finished processing, you guys, I went ahead and I shampooed it out and I conditioned it. Please always shampoo twice and condition your units or even your real hair after you have finished doing any kind of chemical process, you guys. That's super important for the longevity of the hair. And now I'm going to go in with some heat protectant and my blow dryer and I'm going to blow dry this little baby until we get ready to style her. Okay, so this part where I'm applying, I'm actually not going to talk you all through this part of the video because I already have like a 30 minute video that's in depth of how I applied this wig. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions or concerns in the comments below and I will see you all next time.
Okay, y'all, I will see y'all in the next video. I love you guys. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.